Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again to uh, Ford Park in Thangool. We've got the third race coming up, the 2019 Tab Battle of the Bush Thangool Qualifier. Open handicap over 1,200 metres. Runners coming into the yard now, Kobe. Pretty competitive race here. Um, what are your thoughts? Oh, it's very, it's very competitive, especially in the in the top top three in the uh, in the race book. The gender bind, Austin Hagen, and Mystic Forces. I think they're all pretty pretty decent chances. If I the way that the qualifiers are being going, if there was a horse that went through last year, I'd probably be looking at them because that's sort of how it's panned out so far. You've got Bush Caviar that just runs second to Fab's Cowboy. That'll go down to Brisbane again. Car Car Kenny, it'll have another go. See, there's a couple that, that have qualified last year. That'll again... Yeah. Is Stella Knight another one? Stella Knight's another one from Home Hill last weekend. So, yeah, but interesting in this field. There is no uh, finalist from last year, so it'll be a, a horse that hasn't had a go before to have a crack. But my thoughts for the race, I think Austin Hagen for Glenda Bell, uh, Richie Oakford, Loves a firm track, and it was a very impressive winner in open company at Mackay, two back. Um, I think it'll, if it's anywhere near the speed, it's drawn ideally barrier one. I think it'll just sit a couple off them to beat Genderbine. That's been very good since coming up to Queensland and joining the Wayne Baker stable. Good second last start. Mystic Forces from Tommy Button is a very handy horse. Um, he just, things haven't gone his way lately. He's, he hasn't been going the best, but if he does improve a bit, he'll be, he'll be up there and all host. I think that's our leader. I think that'll be definitely in the race, especially at Thangu. Yep, right, mate. No dramas. Well, uh, so on top, you've got Austin Hagen from uh, Emerald and Glenda Bell Stable. Austin Hagen to win this. Yeah, Austin Hagen to beat Genderbine, all hosts and Mystic Forces. Right, mate. Thanks very much. We might just uh, get a few comments from a few of these uh, trainers and uh, uh, jockeys as they're uh, as they're parading here before the race. So uh, first one, we'll get Tommy Button straight up. We'll get we'll get him straight up, Tommy. Mystic forces. It hasn't been going the best, but if he puts his best foot forward, he's capable. Yeah, he, he, we took him to a couple of bush um, sand tracks, dirt tracks, didn't really handle it. Um, keeps drawing out wide, but if, I think if he can be in the first four, he's, he's definitely good enough if he sh turns up. Right, I mate, better on top of the ground? Yeah, definitely. Good on you, mate. Good luck. Dakota Graham not going to speak to me? What's wrong with this Johnson stable? I don't want to be on the microphone. Dakota Graham there, Bevan Johnson trained horse, number six in this race, still the same. We'll find someone else, there's a few quiet achievers here, Daryl Gardner, I'll find him and he's got a, he's got a real chance in this race, all host. Daryl, you got, you got this bloke, but the, the full relation from the Damien Wright out stable, you wouldn't see that too often. No, that's true, that's true. And this bloke, uh, my G12, and I reckon he's a live chance. Yeah, look, it's just a touch short for him. He likes it a little bit further, but hopefully he'll be there at, at the uh, right end. Right, mate, he goes good here, so good luck, mate. Thank you very much. Who else? I've got the full relation right behind him. The lovely right from the lovely right at Stable. Jade, what do you think? Uh, look, home track's a good advantage for her, but, uh, you know, there's good competition in here, and let's just hope that she uh, brings it home for the family. Absolutely, you've had a good day so far, but um, look, she'll be she'll be right there, and oh. it might might just be found out. Uh, look, the distance is going to be our worry, but you know she never gives up. She's a fighter, and uh, yeah, got a good jockey on, so we'll see how we go. Good on you, mate. Good luck. Thanks very much. Thank Rodney Hay, we've we've found him over here golfing. Scratch from the last to run in this. How's he trying, mate? Uh, he's probably out of, out of class in this one, I think. But... Right, mate, but uh, again, he looks well and uh, he, he, he just might be competitive. You don't know in these things. Uh, he likes his track anyway. Right, mate, good luck, Rod. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a pretty quick overview, ladies and gentlemen, of uh, some of the horses we got in the Battle of the Bush final here. Might just grab a few trainers and jockeys and grab some thoughts while we've got a camera out here. The jockeys have run, but this bloke won't. Damien Rideout, I've already spoken to you better half, mate. Me, your host. What'd she say, Dave? <laughs> Should I be taking that on board? I hope she didn't give any secrets away, but no, she'll uh, run well today on a home track, but just worried about the 1200. She'll be in it for a long way. Yeah, mate, that's, uh, that's exactly what we discussed, and uh, you know, maybe just feel a pinch at, at the end, but uh, gee, she's been honest since you've had her. Yeah, if she goes on the last win here, she might get the 1200, but yeah, I'm just a bit worried about her getting it today. All right, mate, no worries. Thanks very much. Good luck, mate. You've had a good day, and uh, hopefully you can keep going go one better. Thanks, mate. Natalie Summers. Come here. What are you riding? No, don't jinx it. Man up, thanks, Riders. 
Geez, they're getting a bit soft. Gemma Steele, am I getting a comment out of you? Oh, we got a few. We got a few jockeys who are a little bit shy here, ladies and gentlemen. So we might throw back up to uh, Darren for his call of the Battle of the Bush qualifier here from Thangul. Jockeys up. They'll be on the track very, very shortly. Quality field. And uh, KB O'Brien thinks the two will win. Austin Hagen. I'm with the five all host. Uh, we'll see how things pan out. All the best to uh, jockeys, trainers, and everyone who's got a horse in here. And the winner, of course, going to Brisbane for part of that $125,000 prize.
Stopping moves in, Gender Bean goes forward. He's the top weight and he will run the favourite here, Gender Bean. My cousin Bossy goes forward. Mia Host about to link up. She's the local. Got an abundance of early pace. She'll be in it for a long way, Mia Host. All Host about to go forward, still the same. Ose and Hagen and Zooming still out of line. All host coming forward. Move straight into line. My cousin Bossy stands up well. Mystic Forces still well back behind the line in the pink. Osen Hagen about to be led forward. He's drawn the inside alley here, Osen Hagen. He has had success here over this on this track and over this distance. He's in Osen Hagen. Mystic Forces goes forward. Zooming will complete the lineup and they'll be ready to go. My cousin Bossy stands up to the mark. Gender Bean down close. Light on. Ready to go for the qualifier. Starter picks up the button. Osen Hagen drawn the inside. Set. Ready. Racing this time, Osen Hagen began smartly off the inside with Gender Bean, and there goes Mia Host around the outside. All Host drifts back with still the same, then would have been getting well back, zooming Mystic Forces. And to the tail of the field is my cousin Bossy onto the first corner. Mia Host, the pilot, goes down onto the fence, leads a half length clear. All Host is second, Osen Hagen gets the gun run, third the inside. On the outside of him was Gender Bean on the improved but a little deep. Back in behind those would have been Zooming on the improved from Mystic Forces who starts to commence his run. Then would have been well back behind them still the same in company with Golfing and my cousin Bossy is at the tail end of the field. They start to ramp it up now approaching the corner. Mia Host the leader a half in front. All Host second. Gender Bean third the outside under pressure. He's getting off on the corner. Gender Bean the leader kicked. It's Mia Host the length in front. All Host tries hard and Gender Bean out wide. Mia Host in front. She's going to lead all of the way and Mia Host down to the wire, wins by two and a half. A local win, Mia Host scores. All Host second, still the same third. Then would have been Gender Bean, they were followed by Golfing, Zooming, My Cousin Bossy, Mystic Forces and Osen Hagen, last runner home. Mia...